Yeah, I think look internally and talking to clients, the big three um, are non-concessional contribution limits, uh, concessional contribution limits uh, leading up to the 30th of June and, and beyond, um, and also the changes to the transition to retirement strategies and how that's going to impact retirees that are both in accumulation and pension phase post 1st of July. Leading up to the 30th of June, there's an opportunity cost, meaning we have clients now that have the ability to contribute three years worth of contributions of $180,000 per annum, so $540,000. Post the 1st of July 2017, this amount's going to be significantly reduced. So post 1st of July, it'll be $100,000 per annum, or the bring forward amount will be $300,000 over the three years. Yeah, so for, for clients at the moment, there's two types of uh, limits. So those that are under age 49 can contribute up to $30,000 per annum. Those that are 49 and over can contribute $35,000 per annum. Post the 1st of July 2017, we're going to see this drop across the board to $25,000 per annum. we're going to have three different types of contributions that will fall into the $25,000 limit. That includes superannuation guarantee contributions. Then we have the salary sacrifice component, so for those that are putting in additional money to try and make their super work harder for them. And then obviously those self-employed uh, people out there that put in a deductible personal contribution and make a tax deduction claim on it. Yeah, look, currently uh, those that are in a TTR type of transitional phase, their accumulation account remains tax, so the 15% tax on earnings. Uh, their pension amount that's currently, they're drawing a bit of an income to supplement their everyday living at the moment, is tax free. Post the 1st of July, the government's removing this exemption, so those that have accumulation and the pension phase, it'll be 15% earnings tax across the board. Look, the benefits of keeping money in super, whether it's, you know, as you're building wealth over um, the long term, um, as you're sort of growing a little bit older, is uh, obviously taking uh, advantage of that 15% uh, earnings tax, uh, whereas if you held it in your own name outside of super, it's taxed at your marginal tax rate, which could be up to 47.5%. To learn more about this or find out how these changes impact your personal circumstances, I think you should seek advice immediately because uh, basically right now we're only seeing there's a couple of months before these changes come into play and if you do have surplus cash lying around or you've made previous non-concessional contributions or you're, uh, you're, you're self-employed and you've made some personal tax uh, deductible contributions, you should really be seeing how these uh, limits obviously play out or affect your circumstances post the 1st of July. More importantly though, one that we haven't covered off, uh, which is also relatively uh, you know, important for the minority of the population, is the $1.6 million uh, transfer balance cap, uh, whereby you know, certain people can only start pensions with a maximum now of $1.6 million uh, post the 1st of July and no more, and the rest has to remain in accumulation. So there are some changes which we haven't touched on, but again, all you know, very, very important to, um, to pick up that phone and have a chat to a, to a professional.